Hey, time to play more of my very first Nuzlocke. It has been so fun and it's going so well. We still haven't lost anyone. And we have five gym badges. Last video, we got the fairy gym badge and it was so cute. I think the fairy gym is my favorite gym so far. I loved the town and I really liked Opal with like all of her questions and like the stat changes. The gym leader was actually talking to me and like affecting the fight, so it made it really fun. And we also evolved Peck, so our entire party is fully evolved now. It's going really well. So this video, we're gonna make our way to the ice gym. And this whole time I thought the ice gym would be really easy because I have a fire starter. But Scorch can't Dynamax because they're going to Dynamax a Lapras, which is water and ice. So Scorch would be in trouble. We might actually lose Scorch if we tried to Dynamax him. So instead, we're going to Dynamax Peck, which sounds crazy because Peck is flying, but Peck is flying steel and steel resists ice. So that's our plan and we're going to do it. So let's go. Let's make our way to the ice gym and get our ice badge. Oh, it's Opal. Hold on now. I've got a few errands to run in Hammerslock. Care to join me for the journey? If you're headed for the next gym stadium, you'll need to get to Hammerlock too, after all. Hammerlock, always such a dusty town, though I suppose some Pokemon prefer it that way. Come to gawk at me now that I've had my gym ban taken away and my gym challenge status revoked. Can you really afford to waste time like this? Hmm, that boy. Now that's what I would call pink. So sincere and straightforward and yet so twisted and misguided. I like it. That's the kind of thing that gives people some depth. Time for my gym mission, child! Huh? What? Pink! 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 And pink! Congratulations, child! <laughs> Miss Opal, what in the world's gotten into you? You were used by Alina, am I right? You worked hard together wishing stars for her, only to have her throw you away like rubbish once she was done with you. Come with me, child. I might be able to help you out. Of course, it all depends on how much hard work you're willing to put in, too. Are you testing me? Very well, I accept. In fact, I plan on making sure you see my full talents and tell me everything you know about the Wishing Stars. Farewell for now, child. You should head to Sir Chester. I take it you know how to get to Route 7. Bye, Vidi. Have fun becoming the fairy gym leader. All right, let's get our wild area encounters. With our badges, we can catch Pokemon up to level 45. So let's spin the wheel. So right now we only have three that we can get to without the water bike and that are under level 45. So we have Giant's Cap, Stony Wilderness, and Bridgefield. So let's spin. Hmm, Bridgefield. Let's spin again. Giant's Cap, okay. Okay, so. Giant's Cap is over there, and then Bridgefield is over there. So let's go. Ah, Giant's Cap. All right, here we are. Oh. Oh, this weather looks really interesting. What weather is this? Oh, that's Thunderstorm. Cool, okay. In Thunderstorm, we can get Quagsire, Dreadnought, Mandantric, Knocked Out, and Mencino. And then Random and Grass is Joltik, Toxel, Shellos, and Dotler. So I'm gonna run in and see what I get. All right, here we go. Oh, got somebody. Ah! I've never had one of these. Discharge Pokemon, Electric. It rarely appears before people. It is said to nest where lightning has fallen. I'm gonna name her Magnet. Cause it said like she goes where lightning falls. So I think that's cute. All right, here we are in Bridgefield. That's overcast weather. Okay. So Bridgefield and overcast for overworld. Ooh, it's a lot. 
They have Zigzagoon, Cutifly, Noibat, Elgium? Elgium? I don't know. And Qfan. Oh, Qfan is so cute. And then random in grass is Carablast, Feevil, Diggersby, Shilmet. Oh, that's so funny. It has a helmet on. <laughs> Palpitoad, Pharaoh Seed, and Togepi. So I think I'm going to run in. We'll probably get a Zigzagoon. All right, I'm going to run into that grass. Let's see what we get. I'm hearing a lot of different noises. Am I out of the grass? Yeah, I didn't hear it anymore. Oh, I ran far. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Alright, let's go back. Come on, Sock, that would be so cool. I can still hear grass. This is, okay, this is hard. It's hard to stay in the grass in this one. Okay. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, got somebody. Yep, Zigzagoon. <laughs> Trying to use scary face when it looks so cute with its tongue sticking out. It's, just, it's really funny. I'm scary. <laughs> level 27. I'm worried that anything would kill it, so I'm just going to keep throwing great balls. Come on. Yes! Alright. We got a Zigzagoon. We probably won't use it. <laughs> Zigzagoon. Tiny raccoon Pokemon. Dark normal. Galarian form. Thought to be the oldest form of Zigzagoon. Really? Okay. It moves in zigzags and wreaks havoc upon its surroundings. <laughs> I'm gonna name it Zigzag. Or, wait. Oh no, I didn't, why didn't it work? There, Zigzag. Let's see here, how do we get to Route 7? I think it's this way, and I think this is when we're gonna see Hop. Oh, Chelsea. Hop has Trevenant, which is ghost grass. I'm gonna put Stew for that one because Stu will go after the ghost with Dark. He has a heat more, which is fire, so we'll put Nom for that one. And then Snorlax is gonna be the big problem. I don't really have anything great against that, but we do have Mudsy and Scorch who has fighting, but the problem is I wanna use Mudsy for Boltund and I wanna use Scorch for the fire starter. Okay, so Mudsy has 88 defense and Scorch has 80 defense. I'm pretty sure Snorlax is a physical attacker. He has Body Slam, Stockpile, and Heavy Slam. So Body Slam and Heavy Slam are what we're worried about. So, oh my goodness. Body Slam is 85 power and it's an attack. Okay, so, and then, oh, Heavy Slam is Steel. The user slams into the target with its heavy body. The more the user outweighs the target, the greater the move's power. <gasps> oh, we should definitely put Mudsy in for Snorlax then because Mudsy weighs a lot. Can we check the weight on here? I don't think you can check the weight of Pokemon. That's annoying. Okay, hold on, I'll Google it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Weight, oh my God, <laughs> 2,000 pounds. <laughs> okay, let's check Snorlax. 1,000 pounds. <gasps> okay, so we should definitely put Mudsy in because the weight one won't affect us badly. All right, let's go. Yay, thank you for using a ghost move. Oh, it doesn't actually damage you, it just confuses you. Oh, Stu, please just fight through the confusion. No, well, actually, if that's his one hyper potion, I prefer he use it on this one instead of Snorlax, so. Come on, Stu, you can do it. Yes! Yes! Good job, Stu. We made Hop waste that hyper potion. Ooh, nice! Scorch got to level 40! Oh, good, because we want Scorch to handle, like, the first three Pokémon in the Ice Gym. Alright, Snorlax. Alright, Mudsy, 
Muzzy's supposed to be 2,000 pounds? That's insane. <laughs> Ooh, that's not doing very much. Okay, even though that's super effective, we should probably use a different move. Oh, good! Oh, right, that raises its defense. Oh, both of them, okay. But at least it didn't damage us. You know what, I think I'm still gonna go for the super effective. It's doing much less now, though. Ah. Okay, we can do this. Oh, body slam. Nice. Oh, paral- Oh, I didn't know that paralyzed. Come on, Mudsy, you can do it. Nice. Snorlax wasn't a big problem. Mudsy's level 40 also. Awesome. Go Mudsy. Earthquake. Ooh. Yes, please. Oh my god, look at that. Power 100? Oh, look at that. <laughs> Mudsy also has heavy slam. We finally have Earthquake. Rillaboom. Okay. That's the grass starter. Go Scorch, go. <laughs> Such a cool looking move. Use level 41. All right, electric. I probably should have healed Mudsy a little bit first. Oh, crap. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, Bolton just what Yamper turns into. Yamper is so much cuter than his evolved Pokemon. Earthquake! Oh, awesome. Oh no, okay, so Bell still needs, but everybody else is level 40. Eight thousand eight hundred and eighty. Alright, hop was still easy. <laughs> okay, so route seven. Perserker, which is what Meowth turns into, Thievil, Galvantula, Lipard, Inke, oh, and Morapeko! Oh, cute! And then Random and Grass is Toxel, Shelmet, Corvic Knight, Lipard, Meowstic, Seismitoad, Seismitoad, and Karablast. Alright, I'm just gonna run in and see what happens. Really tiny grass, so hopefully we get something before we... Nope. Okay, we're back in the grass. Okay, got something. <laughs> Berserker. Oh, right away. All right. Hmm. Well, since for Berserker is steel, let's just use a steel move. Oh, that did like nothing. <laughs> Whew, that was a horrible noise. Hmm. Berserker. Viking Pokemon. That's funny. <laughs> Steel. After many battles, it evolved dangerous claws that come together to form daggers when extended. <laughs> I'm gonna name it Purse because Meowth does, um, payday. <laughs> okay. Oh, and here we are at Route 8. Route 8 Overworld is Gallet, Bulldore, Ponyard, Girder, Toka Demaru? I don't know how to say these. Volibi and Lunatone. And then Random and Grass is Sandaconda, Rhyhorn, Dusclops, Haunter, Bronzong, Hippo. Hippo Dawn? Hippo. Hippo I don't know. Drapheon, and Phalanx. There's five trainers on this route, too. I think I'm just gonna run into the grass. 
Oh, there's grass, but there's already an overworld Pokemon that I can see. Do they disappear at all? It doesn't look like they disappear. Mm. Okay, so if there's grass up here, I'll just go into it. There isn't. Oh, there's a TM over there, though. They're not disappearing at all. Do I have to, like, leave the entire route? I don't want to. Like, they're just standing there. <laughs> hmm. Well, okay, that's the only thing in the grass. So, I'm, okay, I'm going to close my eyes and run into that part of the grass. <laughs> well, that didn't work out. Wait, hold on. Hello? Oh, got something. Ooh, what is that? Now we'll be able to catch it. Hey! Oh, look at that! Phil is finally level 40! All of my Pokemon are level 40 and above! Ogre Scorpion Pokemon. <laughs> Poison Dark. It's so vicious that it's called the Sand Demon, yet when confronted by Hippo Down, it keeps a low profile and will never pick fight. Sand Demon. <laughs> My party's fully evolved. Oh, I can buy Ultra Balls now. Ooh. They're kind of expensive though, but so are Great Balls. And we have a lot of money. Maybe I'll use, like, Ultra Balls, because the Pokemon are getting, uh, like, they're getting harder to catch, so... Wait, I think I have more Treater Battles that I can do. I'm gonna do them for the experience. I don't know how I had my eyes closed, like, to get a Pokemon here and the Trainer Battles didn't start. Like, the Trainers just didn't see me. Even though I was like running around so much. Ooh, Mudsy got to level 41. Hmm, level 42 for Peck. Swagger. I don't think Swagger is useful, but let's see. The user enrages and confuses the target. However, this also sharply raises the target's attack stat. No, not helpful during a Nuzlocke. That would be bad. 4,320. easy. <laughs> oh, what's this? Quick balls. Ooh, nice. A somewhat different Pokeball that has a more successful catch rate if used at the start of a wild encounter. Oh, nice. That's what I always try to do. Alright, so she has Roselia and Hatrim. Now I'm level 41. Steve's level 42 now. Is there anything over here or just grass? Ooh. Oh, a shiny stone. 
A peculiar stone that can make certain species of Pokemon evolve. Cute. I don't know what the shiny, who the shiny stone evolves. Is it an Eevee? Oh good, I think this is how we get the TM. Yeah. Smart strike. I don't know what that is. The user stabs the target with a sharp horn. This attack never misses. Ooh. Oh, it's steel. Oh, that's interesting. Nom can learn it, but Peck can't. Huh. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, three hyper potions. Awesome. <gasps> Stairs that lead nowhere. Ooh, another. Whoops. Oh! Oh my god, that was so much more experience than I thought I'd get. That was a thousand for Peck and 500 for everybody else. Oh my god, we're definitely gonna fight new Pokemon that we run into. So that Pokemon that we fought that gave us a lot of experience must have been an evolved Pokemon. Can be used to restore 10 PP to each of the moves that have been learned by Pokemon. Cool. Three luxury balls. Make a wild Pokemon quickly grow friendlier after being caught. Oh, that's cute. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, nice! That's so- Oh, it's gonna hit multiple times. Oh! Rock wasn't super effective against Peck anymore. Probably because of the steel. That's so awesome. I didn't realize. Oh, that is so cool. <gasps> Max revive. Can't use it. <laughs> Another trainer battle. So she, oh wait, oh, well. <laughs> Backpacker Barbara has Dreepy, which is Dragon Ghost, and Wall Baby, which is Dark Flying. Oh, duh. I, <laughs> I totally just forgot that fighting does nothing to birds. Oh, a big nugget. High prices. Yeah, we have so much money. I can start using Ultra Balls because I haven't even sold anything. Lots of level ups. Peck's level 43, Gorge is level 42, and Bell's level 41. Oh, alright. He has Toga Demaru? Toga Demaru? I don't know how to say it. Electric Steel. Let's have Scorch burn it. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's interesting. I'm always surprised when Pokemon have something that they do after they faint. Like Hop had that bird that threw a fish at us. rock. Ooh. When the holder successfully inflicts damage, the target may also flinch. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, a nugget. <laughs> oh. That's a Pokemon? Oh. 
Muncie's level 42. Ooh, and Bell and Scorch both got over a thousand experience. Oh nice, I'm glad I came over here. Oh my god, we found a fighting TM. They use your attacks with a swift chop. It can also break barriers such as light screen and reflect. Ooh, that's nice because reflect really made that one BD fight harder. <laughs> Fighting power 75. Aw, nobody can learn it. <laughs> oh, a double battle. Oh, cool. So this is the last battle on the route. So they have a level 36 ex Exedrill, which is ground steel. Oh, maybe I should heal first. I'd have to run all the way back here, but I think I will. I think I'm going to go heal. Let's see. Um, extra drill, Lucario. So Peck should be a part of this because, I mean, Peck's just the perfect Pokemon for that person. And then the other person has Hippo, Hippodon, and Berserker. annoying. Oh, that's also annoying. Okay, this, <laughs> oh, this trainer battle. Oh, it didn't want to KO. Oh, huh. surprised. Oh, I totally forgot that... Okay, so Nom has to get out of here. I did not realize that Nom was weak to ground. Ooh, Peck got up to level 44. That's awesome. Get all the level ups, Peck. Oh my god, I totally messed this up. <laughs> okay, good. They're fine with rocks. I did not mean to put Stu out there. Stop using Dig! I need to hit you! Ugh, so annoying. Confusion. <gasps> Why is everybody weak to... Stu, you have to get out of there. I can't lose you. <gasps> ah! Bell's level 42. I think they have one more Pokemon though, so we gotta get Stu out. Oh nice, Scorch is level 43. Scorch is level 43 and Peck's level 44, so we're getting a lot of level ups for the gym. Do you have another Pokemon? I think you do. Mm-hmm. Do leave, you weren't even supposed to be there. Okay, good. Whew, we saved Stu. Pokemon are weak to ground. Oh, that was scary. Thirteen thousand. Oh, Route Eight, Steam Drift Way. So this looks like a completely different place. Does this count as another route? I don't think so because it did say Route Eight, Steam Drift Way. So I don't think this counts. Is there another trainer? I thought we were done with trainer battles. Okay, so he is the last one. He has an Arcanine and a Boltund. Does this count as a different area? It has a completely different pool of Pokemon, but it said Route 8. Like, see, it says Route 8 Steam Driftway. Yeah, even, it still says, like, 
Okay, I'm not gonna catch anything because it actually says Route 8 on this screen still. I love that Mudsy has own tempo. Oh! I've never seen that move. <laughs> I love that we got Earthquake. Go, Mudsy, go. Ooh, Mudsy's level 43. Yay. Earthquake is so awesome. Hmm, Nam's level 43. <gasps> we made it to the Ice Gym Town. Ooh, pretty music. Oh, and there's a hot spring. What a pretty town. I love. Oh. Oh, the music got even prettier. Oh, this is really relaxing music. I love it. Oh, look at the snowman. <gasps> there's snowmen. Oh, look, there's little tiny snowmen. What a cute place. The gym is level 40 Frost Moth, level 40 Darman, I don't know how to pronounce that, level 41 Eskew, and level 42 Lapras. So actually, Scorch is level 43 and Peck is level 44. Oh my God, do I not have to grind? <gasps> I don't have to grind! Second video in a row. This is amazing. I don't think I have to grind for this gym. Ah. This is so cool. Oh yeah, they have a clothing shop. We might be able to get another Marnie piece. Wait, they have vests? That's so funny. Oh, they also have these. These all say that they're from the style card. <laughs> oh, that's cute. That's the starter town. What is that? It's it's called Rad Applin. Huh. <laughs> okay. Oh, these punk skirts are cute. I didn't know that I actually got things that were from the style card except for Marnie's outfit, so this is like really... You get like punk stuff that's not Marnie. <laughs> hmm. Well, no Marnie jacket. I'm really surprised. I thought the Marnie jacket would come from here. Oh my god, let's go to the ice gym! Oh, how exciting! Oh, he lost. What's the point of these? Melanie has been a gym leader since she was in her 20s. She is also known as a very effective coach, but her coaching style is incredibly strict. Her battle style is fittingly severe and stoic as well. Any gym trainers who manage to remain under Melanie are sure to be powerful opponents. Thus, many see Sir Chester Stadium as a major roadblock for gym challengers. Many quietly speculate that Melanie's harsh battle style is due to a fight she had with her son. Huh. Opal's card wouldn't have answered any of the quiz questions. That's so interesting. Like, why do these exist? They're kind of just there. All right. Ball guy. I heard that a wishing star fell to you. That means you were chosen by the wishing star. And that also means I've got a Pokeball for you. You obtained a moon ball. What's a moon ball? A Pokeball that will make it easier to catch Pokemon that can evolve using a moonstone. Huh. Moon balls are curious Pokeballs. They're very good at catching Pokemon that evolve by using a Moonstone on them. Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? I have so much money. I'm gonna get up to 20 of those. We used once to heal all the status conditions of a Pokemon. Hmm. Maybe I'll get some of those too, because they're cheap. <laughs> Alright. I think I'm going to get a Sacrifice for the first time. I might not need it, but I might. And I'm going to leave Belle out here, just for this gem because she can't do anything in the ice gym anyway. 
And I am going to get a sacrifice. <laughs> Let's go! This is so exciting that I don't have to grind. Please head on in to pick up the trap detector. You'll need it for the gym mission. A trap detector? Would you like to hear the details of the gem mission carried out here in Sure Chester? Then allow me to explain a little about the trap detector you, you hold in your hands. The reason we need it is simple. There are invisible pitfalls everywhere in here. If you fall in one, you'll have to start again from the last platform you reached. The detector will vibrate when there's a pitfall in front of you. Okay. The closer to the hole, the stronger the vibration. Then on with you and good luck. Okay, so it's gonna vibrate. Whoa. Can you hear me? Stay calm and move forward. Oh. Okay, that's a pretty strong vibration. Wait. They're vibrating everywhere! Do I go this way? <laughs> okay, so it can't walk over there. Oh. Ah! Oh, I made it! <laughs> and honey. <laughs> honey, don't worry about it. You're just like... <laughs> oh. Oh! I got barely any warning for that. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, okay, there were a lot. That makes me feel better. I'm glad they <laughs> show you. <laughs> good, good. Steal your nerves. What is talking to me? Oh my gosh. So many vibrations. Okay, hold on. Okay! I should have cut Bell in for the experience from the Pokemon trainers and then like gone out and gotten honey later, but too late now. <laughs> Ooh, that did like nothing. Oh no. Water? What do you- oh. Hmm? Defense fell. And attack rose. Ooh, they both rose sharply. Oh, okay. Oh my god, get rid of these before it, it goes off. This is scary. Get rid of it, get rid of it. I shouldn't have brought honey in. <laughs> God, how do I get to that platform? Okay, hold on. All right, can I just like, nope. Can I walk here? Okay.
Oh! Did a ton of damage, but not a one-hit KO. Oh, nice! Peck got up to level 45, and <laughs> Honey's getting a level up every single time. There, if I can't, oh, come on. It is just vibrating all the time. This is not, okay, oh. Okay, so I can walk around the small square. Pretty much vibrating constantly. Now went you into a world of silver snow. Trust in yourself and push forward. Oh no, I'm not gonna be able to see. I just have to use this thing now. Okay. Well it's going so good so far. Oh, vibrating. Oh, vibrating. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't rush it. Nope, can't walk over there. Nope, can't walk over there. What? Where am I supposed to walk? <laughs> Wait, okay, so it's vibrate. What? get over there. Oh, good, this is platform. Nice. Okay. Only a little farther now. Come on, concentrate. Hello. Shout out to level 44. <laughs> and honey got to 20. <gasps> Are there any more Pokemon trainer battles? Oh. <laughs> if you hurry, you'll only end up going in circles. Um, okay, but it's vibrating all the time! Ah. Uh. Oh gosh, it's really vibrating now. What? Where do I go? Vibrating constantly. Okay, let's see. There's no getting out, not in, even at the very end. Okay, but <laughs> I don't know where to go. No! <laughs> 
Gosh, it's gonna show me all the pitfalls and I'm gonna have fallen into every single one of them. <laughs> okay, so, can I walk over here? Come on. Oh, good, a platform. Okay, so it's really, really vibrating. Whew, made it. Okay, there were a lot more that I could have fallen into. I did better than I thought. Whew. <laughs> Splendid, you've done well. Come on then, puff up out your chest a bit. No. I'm still using them. <laughs> I don't trust it. I'm like, there's going to be pitfalls everywhere. <laughs> All right, here we go. Nervous because it's the sixth gym, but really excited that I didn't have to grind. I'm Melanie. As you can clearly see, I've assembled a team of all ice Pokemon. Yeah, except for the last one, which is ice water, so I can't use my fire starter. You! You aren't sore all over from falling in a hole or two, are you? <laughs> Probably. I'm surprised my character's not dead. Even if you are, I'm not going to hold back. Alrighty, I suppose we should get started. You won't be able to escape when I freeze you solid. And after that, well, you'll see. I think you'll find my battle style is quite severe. Ooh. This stadium's not as cool as others, but I like that it looks like we're on ice. You are challenged by gym leader Melanie. Here we go. One hit KO! Go Scorch! Another one hit KO. Okay, so I'm pretty sure you either have to, like the ice head does something. Either it's like um, Mimikyu where you damage it and the ice goes away, or I think you might even have to defeat it twice. But there was something about this Pokemon Okay, so it is like Mimikyu. Okay, cool. Nice, good job, Scorch. Okay, I am so nervous about sending Peck in, but we're gonna do it. All right, Peck. Ooh, I'm sorry I'm sending you out because you're flying, but you're also steel, so you should be fine. I'm just nervous though. Even if it cracks, ice is still ice. I'll show you what I mean. Max Steel Spike. Oh good, I'm going first. Oh nice. Ooh. That looks so 
so cool. Look at it. He's just like a red angry bird. He looks awesome. Come on now. Go on and guide get into Max. <laughs> Aw, she even had hearts. Like, I love how they all love their Pokemon. Oh, it didn't do very much. Ooh, I'm nervous. Peck, don't leave me. Peck's defense rose. That's good, that's good. Okay, so that took 60 HP, so Peck can handle that. Oh no, it took more than that. It took, yeah, no, no, it took, it took 61? Math. <laughs> All right, let's do it again. My partner six should move invites you to a sub-zero world. Oh, that sounds intimidating. What is this? Ooh, that was pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, <gasps> wait, we're going to go back to normal size. We didn't do it in time. Oh gosh. Heck! Oh my god. <laughs> We're going back to normal size! This is so funny. Okay. <sighs> Lapras is so low, but Peck is also really low. I'm using Honey as a sacrifice. Honey's not going to be able to handle that. Honey's down. I don't think anybody else can handle it. Because Nom is weak to ice. Oh, I'm in trouble. I should have just taken it out. I don't know. Oh, no. Oh, Rock isn't weak to ice. Oh, wait, but Rock is weak to water. Oh, crap. I should have just gotten rid of it. Ah. Oh, I hate that I put myself in such a bad situation. Okay, you know what? I think Mudsy's going to go in. Oh, gosh. Maybe I'll try it. Maybe I'll do Heavy Slam. Sing? Seriously? No! This is terrible. Okay. I don't know how I'm gonna defeat the trainer now. It's just gonna put everybody to sleep. Oh my god, I can't believe this. Oh gosh. Mudsy, please be okay. Oh my god. Mudsy, I'm sorry. Okay. It's in the red. Just just get it before don't please don't use Sing. Please don't use Sing. Okay, okay. I guess I'd be more than like falling from here, right? 6,720. Whew, we did it. You're pretty good, huh? Of course, seeing my Pokemon lose is sad, but, it, but to meet someone so young with such ability is quite grand. Here, take this sparkling ice badge. We did it. Oh, I put myself in a dangerous situation. I should have just had Peck, but Peck was at like 50 HP. 
You can now catch Pokemon up to level 50. For some reason, I can't help but imagine my son challenging you after you become the champion. If that time comes, give him a right thrashing, would you? Who is your son? I really want to know. <laughs> oh, Chelsea, my sincere congratulations for your victory over gym leader Melanie. Please take this commemorative DM. Icy Wind. The user attacks with a gust of chilled air. This also lowers opposing Pokemon's speed stats. But I'm pretty sure Icy Wind is like really low hitting, like 20 power or something. Ice Uniform. That ice badge looks great on you. Keep at it, Challenger Chelsea. This will be funny. Let me put our first Pokemon into the death box. <laughs> Honey, the terrible sacrifice. <laughs> I'm gonna end the video here. This was really fun. We got our ice badge. Yeah, maybe I should have just gotten rid of the Lapras when I could, but oh well, it all worked out. I'm still glad that I did it because I would not want to lose Peck and Peck was like really, really low. We got our sixth badge. We have six now, two more to go. Next badge is dark and I get to see Marnie's brother, my brother. <laughs> So yeah, this was fun. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. <laughs> Bye. Pink! Pink! And pink! Congratulations, child! <laughs> Aw, she even had hearts. <laughs> We're going back to normal size! Yes! Whew, we did it! <laughs> I'm scary! <laughs>